think about how you currently work in the classroom. Perhaps you start with a motivating introduction or an interesting story tied to your lesson. You probably have some questions to help students focus on the topic. Undoubtedly, you provide transitions from one phase to the next. For instance, you can wrap up a discussion period or exercise with some summary conclusions about how this activity applies to the overall outcome and what the student will do next. As you end the session, you may remind students of upcoming assignments and what they need to do to look ahead. These are all good parts of instruction and guiding students. Don't forget that you want something to serve these functions online.